Atlas was planning. The Progeny, Grey Phoenix, Sacred Coil, each group they backed was set up to fail. But with each running rampant, 3-1-PD would stretch thin enough to... Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Abaddon, and in today's video we're back in XCOM Chimera Squad. We're finishing up this playthrough is take down atlas i was thinking about it between recordings and i feel like there's a possibility that um that atlas was run by like mayor nightingale and she never actually died and it's all been a ploy to bring down to destabilize the police so that she can get her agenda across easier i don't know because i don't really know what her agenda was though she seemed like someone of uniting force rather than anything else uh, we're still gonna stick with the same team. We have no reason to switch. I wish there were more uh, Pangolin Gauntlets or like some type of upgrade you can get for those so they do more damage besides just the ability she has. <coughs> Brace for impact. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, also, the person who drives this thing like swerves all the time. Units automatically activate Overwatch after the breach. Enemies deal plus one damage during the breach. We're gonna send Zephyr through first. That way we have more units that are maintaining Overwatch while we are going in to the breach. We have four encounters in this one too, so this is gonna be a long mission. Go, go, go. We have a lot of stuff around here now. I must send her on the mech. We'll have her take a shot on it. So now she has the AP round. So now Zephyr will probably kill that. I think it kills. It should be able to. Something that's three health should be able to kill. Only a two on a graze, but it does still poison because of the graze. I could lift them or I could potentially kill them. How many times can lift do during the breach? Okay, so I can do it every time during the breach. I can kill them for sure. Or I'm gonna take the chance on this one. I think they're dead now. No, they, have, they must have one health or something. But they're now poison and uh, burning. Break the hostile. So they're gonna die on their turn anyways. We don't have to worry about them. The old blueprint showed an empty area just inside the wall. How was I supposed to know it was Shrike's firing range? We are not all psychic. That's One angle cover. That's an interesting Let's comeback for Verge because that sounds like uh, he knew about the people inside. Okay. All right. Use crippling blow on them. And if they still get their turn and try to move, then never mind. She was just gonna kick them, but yes, it doesn't matter since she already killed them. Also, who puts a firing range on the first floor? Number two? The hitman, so we don't gotta worry about them. We can start dealing damage to the bomber too. Well, no, we just missed. He died on his turn. We knew that was going to happen. Let's take a shot. Yeah, let's just take a shot. I don't think we need to do anything. Actually, we'll use cooperate with Zephyr. I set him up. You knock him down. Are they close enough to use crowd control? No, they're definitely not, are they? Then we'll just use crippling blow on... I guess she can't reach the number one person, so the number two. Or number four. She couldn't reach number two. Like Disabling their weapon. Put them in parry, so now they're hopefully going to draw that shot from uh, the bomber. Zephyr's going to draw that shot from the bomber. They're, they're poisoned like now. Armor. Does that mean they're going to die on the... Yep, okay. Someone shred that armor. We'll have you use stupor on them. Try and take away their turn. Cool. And now we can just take a shot on them then. Right? Yeah, 97%. So yeah, we'll just take the shot. 
no burn on the turn anyways now too, so it doesn't even matter. I don't know. Seeing a lot of activity on the 80th floor. There's an elevator ahead. It should take you right there. I don't know how he thought us crashing a car through the side of a building wasn't gonna either set off an alarm or alert somebody to our presence. Presence. Okay. And then terminal. No. Then we want Zephyr. Terminal. And then verge. Yeah, this is how we want to do it. There's only four enemies at the breach point. So if we're lucky, we might be able to take out all of them. Never mind, I forgot about the health of the enemies too. I'm gonna shoot at you. You're gonna go for the dominator. And then, damn, we have different units that we can see that are um, aggressive, don't we? Okay, well, you're gonna take a shot on them. And then you, Verge, are gonna lift the Paladin. All right, got a critical shot there. We have a lot of people grouped up in this area too, so we can probably get a grenade off in here and some other stuff too. Never mind, I spread out. The Come elevator in here. needs a key card. One of these shrike goons must have it on them. Okay. There, grab that key card and head to the 80th floor. Okay. On number two. We're just gonna try and kill stuff before they can get a turn. This will for sure kill them. This on a max roll will kill them. I'm gonna go for this one then, since it's a guaranteed kill. Drop the hostile. Nice that way we have less people trying to shoot at us. Especially since Zephyr's out of the open too. Is that just a shot? No, okay, never mind. We we just killed that too, dog. Alright. Try and put the fire. I kind of want to put it on in there all the way. Throwing like grenade. that. I don't want to block my way in with fire also. I'm really just doing it to shred and then start damaging them as well. And then now we can use crippling blow. Damn. I can be on one of these two spots. I think I'll do it from right here. Should've stayed back. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully it rooted on that one enemy. No, they got like disoriented or something because they said they were immune to the effect. And then parry. I was gonna say, we got a lot of turns that she has to pay. I don't know if she's gonna block all of them though, because I don't know what happened where she ended up blocking two. I think that gives that one a shield, but if one dies, the other dies now. And this thing really got a turn before her. she was able to move away from it. Miss? Cool. Can't touch this. Okay. We'll have you move up to here. And then take a shot on the number... Yeah, the number two. I should have took this shot earlier. Or I can take it on them. I only have a 76 chance to hit. Versus 100% on that thing. And 100% on this. And a pretty decent chance to crit too. Nah. 
But because it's poison, never mind. Oof, this is not what we're trying to see. All these psionics. Who are we trying to use Battle Madness on? Number two person is the Sorcerer. But we can't see them right now. So then we'll try and get someone in this room. So I guess the Dominator is going to be the next one we try. That way they might shoot at the number two, who I think is the person we've been trying to take out also. I didn't even see that Necromancer right there, actually. And then... Well... We'll just shoot you, actually. No, because you're going to die in your next turn anyways. So we shoot you. Seventy-eight percent chance to take them out. What about the number four? No. Let's take this shot here. Cool. I think they're gonna burn on their turn too. So. Yeah, they're gonna die on their turn. Let's see if this number two person ends up running by uh, Zephyr. Because if so, she'll take a uh, kick. She'll get kicked. Into the silence. Or she'll just shoot. Forgot that was even an option. Still Okay, those two are going to die on their turns. We're going to put you here and then take a shot on that sorcerer. Not you. Or you. You. One less target. Far less sloppy than me. Yeah, I guess she's just been getting the free- oops. Just getting the free reloads that she's uh, supposed to have had. I guess, well, I guess it's automatically doing the one that she gets from, what you call it. Okay. Now what? We have to get to the key card area. We use Crippling Blow, not on you. Or you. Why can't we see the other person? I guess we can't reach them. Oh well. Shattering. A stun for two turn cool, so that makes that useless. But we still have to worry about the Dominator. Who we can just parry from, actually. I don't know where he's going. That's not what I expected at all. I don't have a running gun ability with her. But they're so far back in here that I need to be Move rushing it. up Cover anyways. Me. Yeah, I didn't space this uh, this match well. He died. That died. So now we're back around the Verge's turn. Cool. Alright. I wasn't sure if that was going to hit. We had a very low chance to do so. And then Zephyr's turn is after this. This is kind of, like, brutal, I think. If, like, if this game isn't rated M, just from that scene alone, it probably should be. Not you. We'll have you take you on. Fracturing. Your weapon is disabled, so if you try and move, you're getting kicked also. I mean, if you shoot at me, it's not going to do anything either, because I'm just going to block it. Is no longer stunned. I don't know where they're going, but they're definitely finna shoot at side of Saber. On her? That's not the worst thing that could happen, actually. Yeah, the thing tried to move, which caused that to die. So now the whole room's cleared. Do we still have to move everyone there, or is it just gonna automatically push us? No, it's not gonna automatically push us. Gotta get moving! Then I guess we'll just keep dashing people. I assume it's probably going to start bringing in reinforcements. Yeah, that's what I thought. On the move. That doesn't matter though, because we can get everyone in here now. Uh, insane. 
uh, in turn. And then in turn. Repositioning. Okay, in turn. That was dumb. But it makes sense, I guess. There's another weird elevator scene. It just, it just started throwing those in at the end of the game, huh? You'll be completely exposed out there. 80 floors and a rooftop is a long way down. For them. Oof. Lashing with his entrance will have the weapon disabled. That's fine, we can just end with Zephyr because her weapon cannot be disabled. Hollow scan this entrance, terminal, Zephyr. We don't have to heal still either? Yeah, that's pretty good. So we've been getting through this flawlessly so far, I think. That'll heal the damage that we've already taken. You're getting targeted down for sure. No, you're surprised. I don't need to do that then. We can take the adder out. We can take both of these adders out easily. Let's go ahead and take one of them. Can you take the other one out? Yeah, you can. All right, you're gonna take that shot then. And now we're gonna take on this guardian because don't like the buffs that the guardian can give out. We don't need everything being shielded. Not at all. Tougher than I expected. Do you think stay scanned? I don't think so. When is that guardian's turn? I'm just gonna shoot him now. Yeah, we don't need you getting a turn at all. Target down. All right, who's next? Verge will be next. Why does she reload? I'm confused. I don't know why she's doing that. Maybe it's an ability that I need to be reading over again. Can we see anyone from here? So we can see you. I guess we'll use a battle madness. I don't know who they're gonna shoot at because I don't know where the rest of the team is. I probably should have checked that first, but no, okay, that's not bad. That's pretty open too. Unless they were going for their number four, which they had absolutely no angle on. <sighs> oh well, I guess. Let's see if we can get this Aglet all the way into his 3 3. This was the psionic group, so yeah, I don't think I would have got a high one. I didn't expect to get one at all, actually. I forgot they can do psionic damage too, like hit, that. But still standing. Know your limits. We still have the the second win too, which heals everyone. If we hit, we might kill. Cool. Take that. Textbook. Just because I can't remember if the adders are the ones that have bind. I don't think it was them. I think it was the Cobras. I think that should be covered from that other thing. None unless they move, of course. Which didn't actually work out for them. All that for two damage. Oof. Alright, that's not good either. Let's start getting people moved up then. We we'll use running gun here. Yeah. Clearing a path. And then dash her all the way over here. Cover me. So we can start getting in position for whatever comes to the store. Alright, fire weapon at number three. Take them out. Hostile down. Reloaded. I don't know why she's doing that. I forgot to check just that quick. We could use mind flay. But we want to move up first. Should I worry about being in cover right now? I should be. Always should be worried about staying in cover. Let's I move up to here. Then we can use uh, Mind Flay to take them out. Your will that way we can... Um... What was that? I guess they still count. 
that way we can at least get a terminal and some sort of overwatch on whatever's gonna come through this entrance. I don't think it's gonna be the best one though, especially Run. because of the distance. Give it, your all. it all depends on how close they get in their turns. Got you covered. We are counting. I'm gonna put you all the way up here. That way you can be ready and then have you prepare. Ooh wee, she did not need to be this close. I can't remember what she are. We got three different uh, uh, mutons, what'd we get? We got a brute, okay. So they swing in a bunch. Bombers, grenades, I don't think we really see them. The Praetorian is really gonna be an issue for us though. Uh, I can take, ooh, I might be able to take the bomber all the way out though. Uh. I can deal a lot of damage to the Praetorian. I think I wanna I think I wanna try and take them out. Yeah, I wanna try and take them out. Cause we won't be able to take the Praetorian out immediately either. This is not giving us cover. Battle Madness, uh, we'll do it on the Praetorian, yeah. I think that's what I just got, right? No, I got the Brute. But, maybe it'll take out the Bomber for us. I knew it was gonna turn around. At least it hit, though. Uh, gave itself more armor. But that's fine, because Godmother can shoot straight through it. But now it's the Praetorian's turn, so that might be a problem. Still can't remember what door did necessarily. It's this man is getting himself story. hurt. I think they just got close enough too that I can use this on all of them. Yeah. Um. I don't think we need I'll to heal yet, down. or worry about our health as much yet. I thought I was going to take the bomber out, and I forgot the brute distance. So this might not have been the best move, actually. But it was fun, not going to lie, hitting that many people. Engaging. Cool. I was going to say, you better not hit from that range. That don't really make sense. Alright. Okay. What's her health looking like? She's still pretty much full on health. We'll use cooperate on... we we'll use cooperate on Godmother? No, we'll use it on Zephyr. Go! Go now! Is this a once per... No, it's four turn cooldown. This is only just, uh, not just, it's only to get the two, uh, two different hits. So we can take them out and then apply some sort of effect to the Brutes. We don't really want to shoot the Praetorian right now. We want to get stuff that can shred the armor down as well. Yeah, they're stunned now, so they're out of the turn order. Yeah. Oh, they're still sending more reinforcements. Is this funny we have a bunch of Cobras? No, but I did see a purifier in there. Oof. Some of Virgin's shielding would be nice right about now. Alright. If we do this, we won't hit our person and we'll only deal damage to them. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna get him on this side now. Moving quickly. Keep to cover. Get a battle madness on not uh, on the Python, yeah. Let's do that. Is 
Check out the purifier. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Does this thing have any effects on it though? I can't remember. Cool. Target Never mind. Didn't matter. Ah, that's right. I got the thing where she can punch through armor. I think. That's fine. Yeah, they're both immune to poison. Okay. Um. We'll hit the brute from right here. Just in case the purifier moves, that means that, uh. Never mind. I don't think I did it from where I thought I was. But we'll use parry, anyways. Oh! Cool. I thought parry only blocked damage because that thing didn't do damage with just uh, shadows. The tongue thing? Train. It just moves us. We can use subdue on the number five and take them out. Yeah, we'll do it this way. We're finna get burned alive, aren't we? Yep. I've had worse. And we didn't give her the hazmat seal, so that's gonna affect her too. It's kind of annoying. Oh well. Crossing over. We use mind flare. We'll take them out, which we might as well do. Cannot resist. Fire approaching. I have to move. You are in grave danger. You're gonna take them out right now. All right. So we can keep it pushing, right? Yeah. Okay. How do we go to the roof before he went to level eighty? I was thinking about that during the thing, but I thought it was going to be some other transition, not this. Alright, let's see. Plus 50 dodge during the breach everywhere. And this one has plus to aim, so we'll send the godmother through there. Uh, we'll have... Dodge, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Is this the order I want people to come in, though? No, I want Godmother first. Because her shot might be able to kill something that would be aggressive. And then we want Verge to go last. No, we want Zephyr to go last. We want Verge to go third and second. Okay, that's fine. Breach, breach, breach! Time to move. Is there anything you could potentially kill immediately? No. But you can deal a lot of damage to this Praetorian up here. You have a pretty high chance of doing it. So they're all over there. We haven't seen those in a while. But those are easy kills, we know. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. Okay, cool. Uh, danger thrall. I want to take the shot on them because if we hit, yeah, we'll take them out. And now you can go for the last Praetorian. I think he's going to take a shot on us though. Didn't see her at all. Oh, wasn't the Praetorian shooting? That's even better actually. I think they have bigger guns. Ooh, did not see that running in there. It's going to be annoying. XCOM, lay down your arms. It's Chimera Squad. And screw you for all you've done, pal. All I've done? I've reminded this city what it needs to survive. You don't know what you're talking about. The Elders will return. We can only defeat them by tearing the weakness from our hearts. Was that why you killed the mayor? A handful of casualties today, or a whole world tomorrow. It's an easy choice. Squad, weapons free. 
You won't acknowledge the stakes? Fine. Shrike, destroy them. What are they trying to leave? Can we capture a sovereign to stop the reinforcements? Clear the conspiracy HQ. Alright. Use team up on Zephyr. Cause she's too far in there to not have a turn sooner. And then we use ventilate. On number three. Right. Let's put him on the corner, right? Grenade out. Okay. Well, then we'll have her do this right here. Spread that damage out, too. That's fine on the armor, because we'll have Godmother to uh, shoot through it. Oops, let's not mess that up. So they're burning now. If they try and run past Zephyr, they'll kill them. What the hell? Oh, okay. The thrall. What? What? We ain't never seen anything like that, have we? Subservient? Took a hit, but I still stand. Interesting. It'd be cool to know what some of these uh subservient turns the target into a meat shield. Uh if the caster is damaged, the target will be sacrificed instead. Yeah, okay. But she did that on her turn. Also, that was such a weird like sequence for the uh for everything to be done. Let's give Let's use the motile and do see. Okay, you can't see Zephyr like I hoped. So I'm not gonna use it yet actually. Actually we will. We use it on him. And we use stupor on the Praetorian. Then we use Battle Madness on the Roman. Enemies all Probably should have switched those two. Fight amongst yourselves. Disarming our prey. Never mind. It's cool. Now if I use cooperate. Hey, you got this. I might be able to use puppeteer and take control of them for a while. Or I can just use Mind Flay. Or I can just do the number two and take a shot on them. 68 damage with a good chance to kill with a crit. Yeah, cool. So now they're gonna burn on their turn, which should be a kill. Yeah, they'll burn a kill for sure. Alright. Doesn't matter who which one of these two I shoot at, because either way it's gonna damage the same person. Never mind, it seems like it amplified the damage, so I was better off shooting at him. He only took one damage from the burn. Never mind. Ah, Nam. Nam? Damn. You're done. But she can't be rooted, and she parried the hit. Okay. He just let him. No, he was already on fire. Hmm. I could shoot the Praetorian. Also, there's some whirling noise on my on my right ear, which feels weird, and I know it's from Virgil's point of view, but it's just ugh. it's like it's problem. like the sound of a mouse squeaking right in your ear. It's really weird. All right, what was that? Okay, the Praetorian. I forgot the Praetorian was stunned. So, oh, they just reload with the weapon. That's pretty good, actually. I forgot to take out the sorcery. All right. Another scar for my collection. Check the wound. Okay, we can shoot them. Oop. 
Pumping my mic trying to scratch my shoulder. The sovereign is still in stasis. Let's use uh let's use over. Yeah. We're gonna turn right after it. Steady. Moving. Yeah, this is like a field execution. We had over a hundred percent chance to crit right there too. We saw him moving outside my window. Hopefully that's not too loud. All right. We can use. Firstly, let's use this thing. I think. There's no point in using Reaper, not unless I want to get two hits in. So I'll just use Crippling Blow on the number one. That way we can take them out for sure. Actually, no, I should have... Well, I didn't want to keep raising the Praetorians, uh... Uh, his armor, too. Because I don't know if there's a limit to the AP rounds. I think it only lets it shoot through five rounds of... Um... Or five layers of armor. Okay, so it's Godmother who has the, that ability to, um... To move through people's Overwatch. There we go. Because I was talking about it in the Objective last mission. Uh, now we just have to clear the HQ. Alright. This wasn't too bad. It seems like we're nearing the end. Oh, how, how do you not have an angle from here? Hold up. No, that looks like a pretty good angle to me, but... Whatever, I guess. Let's just overwatch this area. Oh, I guess so, based on the overwatch. That maybe that has a, a blocking effect on her. Cool. Now it's burning and we shredded some of the armor away too. Who's it doing? Probably Godmother, right? She is right there. Is Ventilate ready? Oh yeah, we did put him in there. Cool. You see that? Only lightly woman. Atlas is no more. Better yet, you captured all kinds of intel on their plans and operations, including the death of Mayor Nightingale. City Third One can rest easy tonight. Now get back to base. The director has authorized some much needed R and R. Cool. We're getting a lot of rest lately, apparently. I wonder if that's always there. I must have been missing it. Chimera Squad. The director has arrived. At ease. One month ago, you were understaffed, outgunned, and in temporary housing. Hey, the place had character. And rats. Don't forget the rats. <clears throat> now, the entire squad is here, with the latest and greatest from XCOM HQ. City 31 is in good hands. Hostage situation in Old Town. We'll need all hands for this one. Chimera Squad, form up and load in. I'm sorry for interrupting. You made my point. Go on, do your jobs. Reclamation is entrenched. Our assets burned. We have no options. The battle for City 31 is lost. But XCOM doesn't realize they're already at war. And when they do? It will be too late. What? Okay. Uh, missions 147, flawless mission 6, kills a lot, captures not as much, agent scars 0, that's pretty good for a playthrough, and 7 agents max, rank, max ranked. Cool. Um, that end scene, I thought this game was supposed to be like a side like offshoot thing from XCOM as a whole franchise, because I know the last XCOM game, I can't remember if it was 2 or 3, can't remember. Uh, didn't play them either, that's probably why I can't remember. The whole um, invasion ended, which is what brought all these aliens and mutants and stuff like that to Earth. So that ended. Chimera Squad is supposed to be between... They made it seem like it was supposed to be a between games type of thing, but it might be a setup for another XCOM game. Because now I'm thinking... 
that somehow the elders or like fanatics of the elders are on earth in hiding and have been orchestrating stuff like uh city 31 and all the stuff that was going on in there interesting so now what the interesting all right continue